Young Thug is best known for his eccentric vocal style and fashion sense, and now because he also may be going to prison. Either way, the rapper had come a long way from growing up in the projects of Atlanta. His success allowed him to buy a mega mansion in the elite area of Buckhead that looks like a palace, which is reportedly where he was still living up until now. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Jeffrey Lamar Williams, known to us all as Young Thug, is a rapper, singer, and songwriter who received attention for his collabs with rappers Gucci Mane and Birdman. Then he moved on to work with artists like Gunna and Lil Baby in more recent years. Reports online claim Young Thug's net worth is at an estimated $8 million or more as of this year. Hey guys, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment and today we're looking at the Atlanta area homes of Young Thug. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit me up on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. A few years back in 2016, Young Thug was living in a different Atlanta mansion. In a clip from the news, we can see the front of the property, and it's different from the other mansion the rapper has notoriously showed off in more recent years. Well, we found the listing for this home, but obviously shortly after a run with the FBI, Young Thug moved out of here. At the time, he was renting instead of owning, and according to reports, this mansion was costing him about 7.5k per month. The upscale home was located in Sandy Springs, an area in Atlanta, Georgia, and as per the listing, the property was extremely private, taking up a large two-acre lot. Inside Young Thug's previous multi-level mansion spanned 9,987 square feet of living space and had eight beds and 8.5 baths. Some of the design in certain rooms would probably be considered way outdated now, for example, the kitchen cabinets and some of those paint colors. I mean the dining room is bright red and then that weird green in the other sitting area, I'm not feeling it. There's a grand entryway with double height ceilings and multiple common rooms like a large living room with fireplace, built in shelves and TV above. There are actually 7 fireplaces in total throughout the home, as well as other rooms we can see from photos like a home gym, movie theater and even what looks like a massage room. The master bedroom is located on the main floor which was obviously the rapper's room. In this room, it came complete with a spacious ensuite bathroom and a walk-in closet. The other bedrooms, located upstairs, were all large too. In addition to the guest rooms, there was a special in-law suite or guest house with separate private entrance, bathroom, and kitchen with new stainless steel appliances. The listing also indicated this could be used as a nanny suite and even has its own garage. Apparently, it's a four garage at this home in total. On the grounds of Young Thug's previous house, aside from the impressive family on the front lawn, the mansion even had its own tennis courts. After this rental home, Young Thug ended up moving onto a bigger and better mansion in Buckhead, which we'll take a look at now. Apparently, his previous home ended up selling for just under $1 million back in 2018 and has been off the market since. So the most recent mansion we know of Young Thug living in is located in the upscale area of Buckhead, Atlanta. This neighborhood is a favorite among the well-to-do and famous where the likes of fellow rappers Cardi B and Offset bought their dream home mega mansion as well. Property records state this home sold for over $2.7 million in September 2016 to YSL Enterprises Inc. The same month, Young Thug's Instagram account announced, bought my first house with a pic of the crazy indoor pool in this place. The mansion is described as an entertainer's dream home and I can see why. Young Thug's Buckhead Mansion has a light filled open plan layout designed to accommodate everything from daily life to grand scale entertaining. Inside it spanned 11,000 square feet of living space with 7 beds and 11 baths. It was built in 2000 with a major renovation done in 2011 and sits on a lot spanning just under half an acre of land. There are plenty of common spaces and walking in you can already see the large winding staircases and double height ceiling. The luxurious vibe of the mansion is complete with huge chandeliers, pillars and floor to ceiling windows throughout. Young Thug's mansion has a large kitchen that flowed into the living area with an oversized island and full bar.
From photos, we can see that there's more than one kitchen and a few different living and dining rooms to choose from as well. Other features of this party pod include a wine cellar, bar area, home movie theater, and a finished basement. There's even a secret hidden room that of course, well, it isn't shown on the listing. The main level master bedroom offers an intimate living area, luxury marble his and hers bathrooms, expansive closet and dressing room, wet bar, as well as a balcony overlooking the crazy indoor pool. Young Thug has shown the indoor pool off on his Instagram, and it's a giant marble-lined atrium with two levels. The indoor pool and hot tub sits in this double height space, and it looks more like a resort than something in a single family home. There are decks and patios throughout the mansion, and in the backyard, more space to entertain, even with a large fire pit. His gated estate also comes complete with a four car garage and a surveillance system that's apparently everywhere for ensured privacy and safety. Despite Young Thug living in this dream home for some time, reports say that he actually sold it at a loss recently in 2019 for under two million, but I'm not sure where he would have moved to if he did sell this place. This was also the same mansion involved in a massive lawsuit in which Thug accused a real estate agent of conspiring to sell him the multi-million dollar mansion, which is an alleged money pit. Back in 2017, a young thug was sued by Heritage Select Homes, who claimed the rapper didn't make a huge $2.2 million payment on the home that was due. Thug apparently made a few small payments before the large one was due. Then the rapper countersued, saying Heritage knew the home had a series of flaws, but didn't disclose them like roof problems, leaks, and mold in the basement below the pool. Whatever the turnout was with this, the word is that the rapper actually sold this home. But I'm not sure what his new home looked like or where he moved to, but if you guys have any idea, be sure to let me know down in the comments. So now we've seen where Young Thug was calling home in Atlanta and he's clearly had his share of mega mansions. So that's gonna wrap up this house tour. The latest spot was obviously an upgrade from the one that he was renting in Sandy Springs, but they were both definitely spacious and upscale. What did you guys think of the rapper's homes? Which one was nicer? Last year, the rapper also received 100 acres of land as a birthday gift from his manager, which he had big plans for. He said that he was planning on building new homes, a camping site, a water park, and a trail to ride dirt bikes and ATVs on here. Reportedly, the property is located somewhere in the rural Atlanta area too and has a muddy lake and wooden hill. I guess with all of the drama that's unfolding for the rapper, we'll have to wait and see if he ever gets to make any of these plans happen. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all next time. Bye!